the remote mountains of Nyanga, eastern Zimbabwe, a fertile region where between occasional droughts, rainfall can be relied upon. Ensuring basic services like water and electricity is a priority for a community keen to end food shortages and improve education. A new project harnessing the region's natural resources aims to do just that. Nyanga district is a population of 300,000, of which about 15% of that population have got access to electricity. And um, the other basic services like water, road infrastructure are very poor for the majority of the district. The eastern highlands of Zimbabwe are relatively well off in natural resources, but until recently they've stayed largely untapped. Poverty and lack of services meant the local school found it hard to keep staff. Education suffered. In 1992, Zimbabwe was hit by severe drought caused by the El Nino effect. People realized their vulnerability and checked out the potential of a local stream. The water flowing here is very little, as you can see here, but we managed to manipulate it in such a manner that it can produce sufficient power to drive the microhydro as well as for supplying irrigation water, as well as domestic water for the villages that are downstream. Microhydro power uses energy from flowing water to generate electricity. Even a small stream like this can produce remarkable results. The Nyamarimbira project all started here with the construction of this stone wall, which was meant to hold water um, because our stream is very tiny. The international NGO, Intermediate Technology Development Group, provides technical expertise while local people give their labor. Water passes through what's called a conveyance system, a narrow canal and pipes on a steep gradient. This pipe is taking the water from the fog bay and this pipe is very important because um, it is the one in which the water gains speed and pressure before it can get to the turbine where it has got to impart all of its energy onto the turbine. The pipe comes into the powerhouse and the water gets to the turbine. Inside here is the turbine, which is struck by the water and it rotates and it causes this pulley to rotate. Yeah? From this pulley we've got these belts, which will drive the alternator or generator, which then produces the electricity that we need. But electricity isn't the only benefit. Pipes continue down the hillside, feeding a network of tap stands. Some water is diverted to a purification tank, so every household has clean drinking water. The rest is used for year-round irrigation. Now there's better food security and different crops can be grown even in the dry season. I've already planted wheat in this field here, and there's more further down. This is a crop that we never planted before. It's surprising how a small stream can be so effective. It's even solving other local problems. Teachers will stay for a longer period and thereby uh, good teachers will not move away because the facilities are there. The electricity is very important. It's one of those things which are very important if you are to look at uh, good facilities and uh, the, the, the welfare of uh, a teacher.